this little boy had heebie jeebies. Did you ever have a student with heebie jeebies? He wanted to behave, he wanted to do what he was supposed to do, but he's just dancing around on the seat. So at this point in the presentation, I knew he needed some, some relief. And so I said, does anybody here know what a cedar is? He jumped straight up and said, I know what a cedar is. I said, well, come and tell us. And he said, well, I'll tell you what a cedar is. A cedar is one of those, one of those instruments that farmers use to plant seeds with. Well, good answer. I never cease to be amazed at how their little minds work. So I had to change that strategy a little bit. The word cedar here from Hebrew means to be tenacious or strong at the roots. It's talking about a significant tree. And in this reference, just about every time it's referring to the cedars of Lebanon. Just a few blocks down the street from where our office is in Noble, Oklahoma, the resident of this house has a huge cedar of Lebanon growing in her backyard. And I have a young lady standing there right underneath one of the giant limbs of this tree. She's five foot tall, just for scale, to show you how huge this tree is. This tree is about four and a half foot across the stump and about 60, 70 foot tall. And I want you to compare that with this next picture and tell me if you think this looks like a cedar. You think the tail of an elephant is a cedar? I don't think so. I think we're talking about something more than an elephant here and more than a hippo. As a matter of fact, at the University of Oklahoma, they've got a huge apatosaurus that was dug up out of the panhandle of, of mm -hmm. Oklahoma. And the tail of this animal is a, a little over three foot in the skeleton from the dorsal tip of the processes on the tail to the ventral tip of the processes on the tail, and it's about 30 feet long. Now, if you do a little mental experiment with me and wrap this tail with muscle and skin, you've got a tail maybe four and a half, five foot across and 30 feet long. Now, you've got a tail that can sway like a seat. And we look at this picture now that shows a sauropod standing beside an elephant, and you understand the complete difference in the arrangement of their tail. The Bible says then in verse 19, he ranks first. Now this is the clincher for me. He ranks first among the works of God, yet his maker can approach him with his sword. This is an animal that was the largest animal, land animal, God ever created. What is the largest land animal God ever created? A sauropod. And so... What's the significance of this reference in Job? Job was written about 300 years after the flood, which means a mommy and daddy sauropod had to be on the ark. So I think that's important. Final question. Are there any dinosaurs alive today? Lots of evidence here. There's a reference in the New Scientist of January 1993. Dr. Paul LeBlanc was lecturing to a group of American and Canadian zoologists about Cadborosaurus, this long serpentine reptilian thing that he says in this article that has been authenticated every year for 60 years. And then the reference says one three-meter juvenile was apparently removed from the stomach of a sperm whale. In the independent newspaper of Papua New Guinea... December 30, 1999. 1999. What's that? Four years ago? A dinosaur-like creature was seen on two occasions in Lake Murray in the western province. On December 11, 1999 and December 12, 1999, villagers and a pastor of a church there saw a creature they described as having a body as long as a dump truck, about two meters wide, six feet with a long neck and a long slender tail, with two smaller forelimbs and a cow-shaped head and a crocodile-style skin with triangular-shaped plates on its back and large eyes and long, sharp teeth. That's interesting. And we read these kinds of things all the time. So when we see these things, what does all this mean to you? I'll tell you what it means. It means every time we check... God said in his word about the earth, it checks every time. Which means that everything he said about heaven is just as true. So it means that the truth.
truth about dinosaurs is that these were reptiles that were created on day six of the creation week. Most of them died in the flood, and the ones that we find are obviously fossilized. But there is some significant evidence that some of them could still be alive today. Thank you.